Hey, Ando here from senseiando.com and Happy Life Martial Arts. You might have seen one of my videos three months ago where I talked about waking up and not being able to move either one of my shoulders. I have no idea what happened. Well, I finally went and got the x-rays, I got the MRI, I just got out of the doctor's office, and here are the results. Um, there's some fancy words on here like uh, arthrosis and uh, tendinosis and capsulitis, but basically what this says is, hey man, you're getting old, suck it up. That's basically what this says. Now, I'm not telling you this so you say, oh, poor baby. I'm telling you this because you're going to suffer injuries as a martial artist. That's just part of the game. But that is not an excuse to stop training. That's right. Three months, I have had burning, aching shoulders. I haven't been able to do a proper push-up. I haven't been able to throw a full power punch. Um, even when I'm sleeping, I'm in pain. But I'm still training. All I did was shift my attention to my legs. I've been working on my footwork, on my kicking, and on my stances. And I might be deluded, but I think I've made improvements in all three areas. And if I can make improvements when I'm injured, well, guess what? So can you. So before I get out of here and go cry and do some physical therapy and maybe give myself a piece of pie, uh, I wanted to give you three principles to keep in mind in case you're dealing with an injury. Okay, you're injured. Principle number one, you can always train something. I don't care what your injury is. You can still go to class. You can observe. You can take notes. You can organize your notebook. You can ask questions. You can do research. You can meditate. You can visualize. And these are examples of minimal effort training. I'll bet you can do a lot more than that. If you don't have your arms, use your legs. If you don't have your legs, use your arms. There's always something you can train. Just because you can't do everything doesn't mean you can't do something. Now, there is a key philosophy here that you must have as a martial artist. Remember that if you focus on what you can't do, you won't do anything. But if you focus on what you can do, then you'll always figure out something to do. The reason this is crucial as a martial artist is, let's say you get caught in a choke. If you think about what you can't do, that's what you focus on. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't move my head. Well, then my friend, you're going to die in that choke. But if you can train yourself to instantly think about what you can do, can I move my arms? Can I move my legs? Can I shift my hips? Can I drive my head back? Can I get my chin down? Well, then you've got a chance at figuring out how to escape that choke. So please never forget this. Focus on what you can do, not on what you can't do. Principle number two, any training is better than no training. If you can't make it through a whole class, do half the class, do half an hour. Do five minutes. Do five seconds. Just do something. Look, any time that you spend, no matter how small, if your intention is to make an improvement, that's worth it. It's valuable time. It's certainly a lot better than the time you're going to spend laying on the couch feeling sorry for yourself. Some people get this idea that injuries uh, mean downtime, right? But that's a huge mistake. There is no such thing as downtime or uptime good times or bad times. There is only time. The clock is ticking. This time is going to pass you by whether you choose to use it or not. So I recommend you use it. Any training is better than no training. Principle number three, don't think of your pain as an injury. Think of it as an opportunity. I know it sounds crazy, but I believe that injuries are actually good for you. I'm not saying I want you to get hurt, but if you do get hurt, and you will, then it can be a very positive experience. I actually recorded a whole podcast on this topic a while ago. If you haven't heard it, I'll put the link below. For right now, let me just share one idea that I shared in that show. Imagine this. You're in class. You're working out. And on the sideline, there's a world-class martial arts coach. After class, he or she walks over to you and says, you, hey. I have planned for you. Now, I don't know why this coach has a Russian accent, a bad Russian accent, but play along. He says, I have planned for you. I'm going to give you world-class footwork, footwork that blow everybody away. Here's what you do for six weeks. No punches, no sparring, no bags, just footwork. In six weeks, you be the best in the world 
your whole life be better. Wow, right? You would be pumped if you heard that. You'd be excited. You have a plan. You have a purpose. You've got time. All you have to do is execute, and there's no question that when you come out of that six weeks, you're going to be better than ever. So what's the difference between the coach coming over and giving you a six-week plan to improve yourself or sitting down with your doctor and hearing, hey, you got to take off six weeks to let this heal? There is no difference. The only difference is in your mindset. In one situation, you feel in control. You're making deliberate decisions. You're pumped. You're excited. You're going to make progress. You're moving forward. In the other situation, you're playing the victim. You feel like you're being forced to do something that you didn't plan on and you don't want to do. Well, grow up. Injuries don't make you special. Everybody gets injured. The difference between champs and chumps, winners and whiners, is how you react to that injury. So don't make the mistake of feeling sorry for yourself when you get hurt. Instead, think of your pain as an opportunity, not an injury. All right. Okay, I'm done. I hope that little rant helped you out. To be honest, it was really for me. I get it. I'm a human being. I get depressed too. (laughs) Injuries can be a bummer. But like I said, the clock is ticking. It's ticking whether you stay positive and make a plan and focus on progress Or if you say, screw it, and start sucking on a bottle of Stolich Naya and wake up blacked out on the floor, in the mall, (laughs) whatever. Don't give in to the darkness, my friend. Don't let an injury beat you up. Think about it. If you let an injury beat you up, you're just making it that much easier for a bad guy to beat you up. And I don't want to see that happen. If you like this video... Thanks for sharing it with a friend who might need an encouraging word. And thanks for subscribing to the channel. Until next time, keep moving forward, my friend. And keep fighting for a happy life.